to the nation's site of excitement before the late model feature. It was time to hand out the hardware that really mattered. Scott Dragon wins the annual Porta Potty Grand Prix and gets the golden toilet seat. I'm sure he's very proud. Dragon was the points leader, as I said, entering the night and back behind the wheel again. Governor Phil Scott there in car number 14. To race action now, Tyler Cahoon sparking his way out to a big lead over the first 28 laps. Then the first caution of the night, Mike Foster in the seven car spins out, puts himself on the infield, which is not good news for Cahoon on the restart as he falls behind Boomer Morris, who briefly holds the top spot before Trampas Deemers roars past him on turn four and takes the lead spot. Deemers building a lead but wouldn't like this. Marcel Gravel spins out on lap 38 and comes out another yellow flag. But as the big crowd would be watching on, Deemers would not be phased at all. He hangs on to take the checkered flag for the second time this season. Also overtakes Scott Dragon as the points leader in the process. Jason Corliss finishes second. Morris takes third place. Earning five or six points more than somebody, one of your other competitors in an evening, that's huge. That used to be like 20 or 30 points where we used to gain on people, which I think is phenomenal. I think it's a great system that's providing unbelievable racing for the fans and an unbelievable point battle that I'm just, fun to, I'm just proud to be part of.